So I ended up going to Joe Taylor at Scalp Logic and he ended up um, doing an SP treatment on my head. It took like three sessions. The first one when I was in there though, I will say I was like kind of I, I was kind of nervous, right? Because I knew this was a was a was a long-lasting permanent result. And so I really wanted to make sure that um, you know that whatever this dude ended up doing on my head was like something that he had done before. Uh, I wanted to see results from other people and you know I really just wanted to know like man are you gonna screw my head up and, and it's, I'm, I'm gonna be even worse off you know than I am right now and so he definitely assured me that this would be something that I was that I was happy with you know what I mean but it wasn't until I seen like he actually started putting the frame to my face you know what I mean that I was like oh shoot like this is like I'm getting it back you know and like within 45 minutes like no lie like joe's not paying me to do this this is legitimately i'm a i'm a i'm a media consultant you know what i mean so i shoot videos all day i wanted to hop behind the camera real quick and just tell everybody that i had probably the most um the most i, I just don't even know how to say it you know what i mean the most uplifting experience in regards to like uh you know, feeling like myself again regarding this hair loss, right? Like through all the makeup, through all the kabokis and powders and like the way that I would cut it, you know what I mean? Try to leave it long in the front, essentially doing like a comb over, you know what I mean? As corny and as crazy as all that sounds, like I was that guy, I was doing those things, you know? And when I think back to it, it's just like, this guy gave me my hairline back, you know what I mean? Like today, I was all around town doing stuff, uh, no hat, you know what I mean? No need for it because I was myself, I am myself, you know what I mean? Like I'm able to go out and be like, as a matter of fact, to add to it, I always wanted like a shorter hair like this when I was younger, but I didn't have like the hairline for it, you know what I mean? Like my natural hairline kind of like dipped back a little bit anyway. I wasn't blessed with those good genetics, you know, uh, in the hair department. So when I got this, you know, when I got, when I got this frame back to my face, you know what I mean? You would be surprised at like how important it is when it comes to like accentuating your features. And once you start to lose that frame to your face, or if you don't have a very strong one to begin with, um, it can kind of make the rest of your features on your face look kind of funny. And hence why we don't look like ourselves anymore. You know, uh, you know, your ears can kind of look big, your nose can kind of look funny and stuff, but when you get that frame back to your face, it kind of makes everything symmetric again, you know? So there, there, there's a science behind it, guys. Like there's a reason why when you lose your hair, you don't really feel like you anymore. And um, a lot of it is because you don't, you don't look like you, you know? You start to look like somebody else, which, um, you know, is what I think a lot of people suffer from is like, it creates an anxiety and a depression because you start changing without there being any control on your part, you know? You don't have a choice, you know? It's not like if you were losing weight, you, you know, assuming that it's from like, uh, just maybe an inactive lifestyle or something, you could get in the gym and you could do what it takes to get that body back, right? We've heard tons of success stories where people have actually taken the time and implemented the discipline, um, you know, and routine to like get themselves into great shape and, and that's amazing, but hair loss isn't the same way. Like you can't really like work your head out to like make the follicle start to produce hair anymore, you know what I mean? There's a very, um, there's a very cut and dry process to why people lose hair, you know what I mean? And uh, I wanted to get into a few topics real quick though before we go down that road because I think these are really important things that most people that are probably losing their hair are probably thinking about, but you don't hear a lot of talk about it. 